Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Mud Truck Television, the only show in the world strictly dedicated to off-road race competition. You're in for a treat today. We take you to the world-famous Muddy Graw in Kittensville, Florida, for the ProBad All-Star Nationals, brought to you by Pepsi. Stay tuned. The drivers are ready. The cars are tuned. Race action starts next here on Mud Truck Television. You don't want to miss it. Welcome race fans to Mud Truck Television and the Pepsi All-Star Nationals going down right now in Kenansville, Florida at the world-famous Muddy Gras. To the line now, Marcus Shark Lee driving pure energy. This blown alcohol dirt dragster from Clayton, North Carolina. The Shark is getting set, locked and loaded. He'll be pulling to the lights, getting staged up. And we'll get underway here in Florida on Mud Truck Television. You're in tonight for an all-star show jam-packed with race action. This is as good as it gets, ladies and gentlemen. Professional racing organizations, blown alcohol, dirt dragsters, and the world-famous facility known as Muddy Gras. It's time to go racing. And a fantastic time of 2.087, a new world record for Mark the Shark Lee. As we take you to the instant replay, what a way to kick off this race. This is history right here, race fans. It's never been done before. A 2.087 by Mark the Shark Lee. Incredible run. The Pure Energy car and the Shark coming back around, headed to the pits. What a great way to kick off this race. That'll bring up Andy Garrett. Driving the blown alcohol dirt dragster called Bamboozled. He'll be taking on Bob Gunham and Roland Thunder. Here at the Pepsi All-Star Nationals. I have a feeling we are set for fantastic race action. Wow, what a start with that new world record at 2.087 again by Martha Shark Lee. This pair of veterans right now will chase that record. Getting locked, loaded, and staged. Looking for the green light here in Kittensville, Florida. Looks like a 2.370 for Bob Dunham, a 2.236 for Andy Garrett and Bamboozled. Here's your replay. Fantastic run for these veteran drivers here on Mud Truck Television. That brings up Mike Lane and the Attitude Car here at the Pepsi All-Star Nationals. Again, getting set, locked, loaded, stage, looking for the green light. The time to beat, of course, a new world record, that 2.087, set by Mark to Shark Lee. Looks like a 2.348 for Mike Lane. The tires may have spun just a bit. You heard the engine over rev. Still a great pass laid down by the Attitude car. Our next pair to the line, Joey Kakel and the Bounty Hunter. On the near side, and Scott Snarsky driving the Paperboy Express on the far side. Here at the Pepsi All-Star Nationals on Mud Truck Television, two veteran drivers set to get underway as race action continues. And a 2.270 on the far side, 2.608 near side. Another fantastic run here in Florida. Cars leaving the line nice and straight. The rooster tail flying from these blown alcohol dirt dragsters. 
Again, a look at the instant replay here on Mud Truck TV. That's going to bring up Kevin Stone and the grind. And again, the time to beat. That 2087 laid down by the Shark. A new world record. It's always fun when you see history made. And to back off a bit, looks like a 3.166 for Kevin Stone and the grind. We'll take a look now in slow motion. Give me the Mud Truck Television instant replay. Here at the Pepsi All-Star Nationals. Professional racing organizations, blown alcohol, dirt dragsters in the great state of Florida at Muddy Gras. Let's find out how these drivers load the cylinders and what they load them with. Standing by now at the PRI show, Gary Baker. Hey, Brian, I'm here with Shane at JE Pistons. And I'll tell you what, it takes a tough product to take the grueling punishment these blown alcohol cars put these things through anymore. We need everything we've got in two seconds, and it's doing a punishing job inside that cylinder. And these pistons are as good as it gets. Shane, the guys are really tickled with the products you guys put out. I'm, I'm glad they are. We've uh, we've worked for years to get them one of the best parts they can, and we feel we surpassed every one of their expectation, expectations, got them what they needed. It's a good, strong part, very durable, very thick. It does what they needed to do. I'll tell you what. I know engine builders, Ken Benny, Brad Anderson, and uh, most of our guys all use your product. We're very tickled with it, and we just thank you for the great products. Hey, you are very welcome. You are very well. Thank you for running our parts. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> hey, Brian, now you know how we're taking all this horsepower and running it through them cylinders. Back to you. Thanks so much, Gary Baker and J.E. Pistons. To the line now, Mark Osteen driving Dad's Dirty Bird. He'll be taking on Mark the Shark Lee again in the Time Bandit this time. Of course, Mark, the new world record holder with that 2.087 which is the time to beat. He'll be chasing his own record. And Dad's Dirty Bird wanting a piece of the action as well. Professional racing organizations, Blown Alcohol, Dirt Dragsters, you're watching them now here on Mud Truck Television. The driver is staging up. They want to make sure everything is exactly right and that car is exactly where they want it to be on the track when they turn the horsepower loose here at Muddy Gras. Looks like we're set. Time to go racing. And at 2.110 on the far side, 2285 near side for Dad's Dirty Bird. The Time Bandit car cranking out that 2.110, good enough to put him in second place behind the Pure Energy ride. Mark the Shark Lee on fire tonight here at Muddy Gras with the Pepsi All-Star Nationals. That brings up Sean Barber near side in back in black. What an incredible looking car. He'll be taking on Josh Donnell in second helping. You talk about horsepower. If you want horsepower, you found it right here in Kenansville, Florida with these blown alcohol dirt dragsters. Some of the fastest vehicles on the planet Earth. Putting on a fantastic show for the race fans tonight on Mud Truck Television. If you'd like to find out more about the organization, the drivers, and the cars, log on to probad.com. Looks like we're set. 
a 2161 far side, a 2.310. On the near side, looks like Josh Donnell got a pretty good hole shot on Sean Barber. One more time here, instant replay. Nice slow motion view. That'll bring up Don McDowell in chain lightning on the near side. On the far side, another veteran of the sport, Mike Lane. And of course, the wild cherry dragster. One of the most highly sponsored cars in the United States, the Wild Cherry Car, owned by Rick Holmes. Tonight, it will be piloted by Mike Fast Lane Lane. Here at Muddy Gras for the Pepsi All-Star Nationals on Mud Truck TV. Mike Lane off the line, a 2.174. Looks like something might have happened on the near side. There goes Chain Lightning at 2.383. Not quite sure if it was a problem with the lights or the car. Nice pass for Mike Lane. And the Wild Cherry car, that 2.174. Another look now at the chain lightning dragster. Looked like a pretty good pass once he got underway. That'll bring up Billy Flaying and Reality Check on the near side here at the Pepsi All-Star Nationals. And Larry D'Antoni on the far side driving the Power Pro 1 car. Chasing the number one spot. Of course, that time to beat 2.087. A new world record here tonight set by Mark the Shark Lee in the Pure Energy car. No one's ever laid down a quicker time. We'll see if one of these two veterans can do it right now. Here we go. And a 2441 on the far side, 2383 for Billy Fling and Reality Check. Again, a couple of nice runs on both sides of the track. See that Power Pro 1 car and Larry D and Tony raise up as he lays the horsepower to the dirt. Here in Kenansville, Florida. Very strong off the line, the Power Pro One car. And Larry D'Antoni. It's gonna bring up Daryl Jones and Scooby-Doo, the hill and hole truck out of Sanford, North Carolina. Spectacular run by Daryl Jones and Scooby-Doo at 3.508. Front tires up in the air. One thing's for sure, when Scooby comes to the line, everyone knows you're in for a fantastic show. Nice run, Scooby style, from Daryl Jones. We had a chance to catch up with Larry D and Tony in the pits. Let's check out the interview. That's right, folks. We are here talking to the man, Power Pro One, Larry D and Tony. Larry, how are you, man? I'm doing good. Now, I'll tell you what, uh, an outstanding job tonight. I thought the car looked great. Of course, you're just coming off a bad crash. What goes through your mind after, you know, having that crash you took not long ago, getting the car back together, you're at the starting line. What, what's going through the, through the head? Well, basically just getting the first pass down, shaking the monkeys off, regroup, come back to make your second hit, and let it all for the marbles. Now, I've got to ask you, were you happy with the, with the way the car performed tonight? Well, the numbers weren't there, but, we, you know, we are happy with the pass. And then, you know, we just keep moving from there. You know, I'm thinking if it was me, I would be thinking, all right, I, like you said, you got the monkeys off, the car's in one piece, everything's good, now it's back in the game. 
Roger, we, we yeah, at least we loaded it up. It's all coming back home in one piece, and you can't be you can't be arguing with that. That's a good that's a good weekend. It's great to see you as always, my friend Larry D and Tony. Everybody right here on Mud Truck Television. You are watching the Pepsi All Star Nationals from Kenansville, Florida, at Muddy Gras. After the break, we'll have a look at the final results, and we'll chat with Mark the Shark Lee about that new world record coming up on Mud Truck TV. And the Pepsi All-Star National final results for today's race. Mark the Shark Lee in Pure Energy, a new world record, takes home the win at 2.087. Followed by the Time Bandit car, Josh Donnell, Mike Lane, and Andy Garrett rounding out your top five. We had a chance to catch up with Josh Donnell in the pits just after the race. Let's go now to Gary Baker standing by on Mud Truck TV. Hey, Brian. I caught up here with Josh Donnell. Josh, third place. You've just been racing, even though your family's been in it for a long time. Your dad, Randy's raced with me years ago. Second helping, that car is beautiful. You guys done a good job, and you done a superb job driving it tonight. Thank you. Um, well, we just showed up tonight, just trying to get it down the track, and I'm out lifted, and you know we did what we can do, and you know like, I mean, all my friends been behind me, uh, family. Uh, you know, I, I, I kind of owe all that to them. Uh, you know, I just happen to be the man behind the seat. Uh, you know, maybe next year we come out and do good. Uh, you know, take it back to Tennessee and put it up this winter and, you know, and try to improve on it. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, you keep watching these shows here on Mud Truck Television and you're going to see a lot of this, man. 2.161. He was right on the shark's heels. Brian, back to you. Congratulations again to Josh Donnell. You see the vultures circling the water because they knew the shark was in the house tonight here in Florida. Another world record run from Mark the Shark Lee and the Pure Energy Car here at the Pepsi All-Star Nationals. What a night for Mark Lee. Taking home first and second place and a new world record right along with it. You see it right there on the screen, ladies and gentlemen. The Pure Energy Car from Flake, North Carolina, driven by the Shark. Let's go down to Gary Baker standing by in the pits and get a word about this world record run with Mark the Shark Lee. Hey folks, Gary Baker here with Mark the Shark Lee. You've just witnessed a world record. 2.087, no man's ever been in that round before. Mark, you just started a 2.0 club. That was a heck of a win tonight. And I've been around mud racing my whole life, and I've never seen anybody run that fast. That was awesome, son. Yeah, Gary, that's, uh, we were very fortunate, but due to a good tune-up and a good track tonight and a lot of competition, we were really tickled to death to get this record under our belt. Your other car, 2.110 on the world record to take second place. You guys definitely had the track figured out tonight. And here at the Pepsi All-Star Nationals, you blistered it. And it was amazing. It's, it's, uh, it's always a pleasure to watch them cars run, buddy. Well, I appreciate that, Gary, and it was a pleasure being here. And it was a great, great show, great facility. Thanks to the Kellys and everyone that attended. If you've never been to Muddy Gras, you're missing it, folks. The next one that comes up, you need to take and plan on staying out over the weekend, coming out and watching these cars run. It's phenomenal. Brian, back to you. Congratulations once again to the Shark for that new world record, that 2.087. And yes, Gary Baker, you are absolutely right when it comes to a wonderful weekend of off-road fun. You couldn't ask for a better facility than Muddy Gras here in Kenansville, Florida. We had a chance on our downtime to take a ride on a swamp buggy through this amazing facility. So we thought we would share some of the video with you, the race fans. Let you in on exactly what you've got to look forward to here at Muddy Gras. Always fun, all weekend long. And you never know what type of off-road vehicle you will see here. 
everything from quad racers to blown alcohol dirt dragsters and everything in between. Every time the Mud Truck Television crew comes to Muddy Gras, we always have an incredible time witnessing this awesome off-road action. We're going to let the camera roll and take you through this facility here in the great state of Florida on Mud Truck TV. Thousands and thousands of people descend on this facility every time they open the gates. A bird's eye vantage point now here at Muddy Gras. And again, if you'd like to find out more about these blown alcohol dirt dragsters and professional racing organization, log on to probad.com. Driver bios, race results, track news, and more on the website. A load of these cars are using the Power Pro chassis. All of your race products can be found under one roof. Log on to PowerProRacingProducts.com. And if you'd like to find out more about what we do in the television show, our website's open 24-7-365 at MudTruckTV.com. On behalf of myself, Brian Austin, Lisa Austin, Gary Baker, and the entire MTTV crew, we'd like to say thanks for tuning in and watching this awesome off-road fun. Also, a great big thank you to Mike Kelly and everybody at Muddy Draw for always making us feel at home and like family. And we always look forward to the next time we are at this incredible facility. That'll take care of the Pepsi All-Star Nationals here on Mud Truck TV. Be sure and tune in next time for more ProBad with professional racing organizations blown alcohol dirt dragsters. Mud Truck Television is a Brian and Lisa Austin production.